If you want to be able to insert a hyperlink like a website or an email address that when people get your message they can click on and go to your website or send another person an email. First of all, when you come into your email message and you type in the website address like and you hit the space bar when you're finished, if it doesn't automatically convert that into a link, then that means your autocorrection options need to be turned on, at least for this feature. And to turn them on, in your email message, come up here and click on the office logo button, go down and click on editor options, click on the proofing category, and then over to the right, click on autocorrect options, and then on the auto format as you type tab, go down and check the box here, internet and network paths with hyperlinks. Click OK, click OK. The next time when you type in that website address or an email, it'll automatically link it. Or if you already have it within your email message and you just turned on the feature, click right after it and then hit the space bar on your keyboard. Because when you hit the space bar, the autocorrect feature gets turned on and immediately Outlook's going to look at the text behind the space and fix it or autocorrect it. In this case, it saw it as a website address and it turned it into a hyperlink. Now when I hover over it, it gives me the little pop-up that says if you want to go to this website hold down the control key and click on it. When I do that it opens it down below on my taskbar. Click on it to maximize it. Close out. Of course when other people get this email they won't have to do that. They can just go ahead and click on the link. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.